I'm Bryson Bort, and this is Hack the Plant. For today's episode, I'm joined by Dr. Noel Schultz of Washington State University. She is the First Lady and the Edmund O. Schweitzer III Chair in Power Apparatus and Systems in the WSU School of Electrical Engineering. A nationally recognized expert in power systems, Dr. Schultz joins us today to talk about innovations within the power industry. One of these is a partnership between the school, India, and the U.S. Department of Energy, bringing power to underserved populations. And we're looking at how do we add solar? How do we add wind? How will electric vehicles impact it? And also, how do we look at storage batteries on the system to help make sure we stay reliable power as well as resilient so we can survive a storm and have power come back on? And so in that particular project, we have 15 partners in the U.S. and 15 in India. And we're doing uh, activities in the U.S. where we're looking at modifying existing distribution systems. But one of the really exciting things we're doing in India is we're actually powering a village. And we're actually providing a microgrid for that village that will provide power for them more during the day. So they're able to use solar cells. They're also able to use a biodigester with some of the animal manure to help provide energy and electricity to their village during the day where they don't have power right now. We discuss the unexpected benefits and challenges of creating more diversity in harnessing carbon neutral power sources and the analogous issues of diversity and inclusion in industry. The U.S. is a very diverse country as far as its resources, whether it's solar, wind, water, hydro. We're fortunate in the Pacific Northwest to have a lot of hydro. And so that diversity means we have to, one size doesn't fit all. We have to find solutions in different parts of the U.S. Because when we talk about renewable energy and moving towards a carbon neutral grid, there's not one solution that will work everywhere. So I think that's one important aspect. The other aspect that I've spent a lot of time in my career is looking at how do we create an opportunity for access to engineering for folks across the board, and whether that's underrepresented minorities, as well as women. And how do we make sure as we create teams, the most diverse team is one that creates people with lots of different experiences. And that can be age, ethnicity, racial, um, gender, all those different aspects. And as you optimize a system, having a team that has many different experiences it's really going to give you the optimal set of solutions. Then if you have people that have the exact same experience, they're not going to have as broad a, a domain to look at. Join us as we discuss key opportunities and threats to our power distribution systems. What are critical cybersecurity challenges presented by increasingly internet connected physical power systems? Where are key opportunities for increasing access, both to reliable power and to the engineering and cybersecurity professions. What is at stake here? Thank you for listening to Hack the Plant, a podcast of the R Street Institute and ICS Village Nonprofit. Subscribe to the podcast and share it with your friends. Even better, rate and review us on Apple Podcasts so we can reach even more listeners. Tell us what you thought about it and who we should interview next by finding us on Twitter at RSI or at ICS underscore village. Finally, if you want to know more about R Street or ICS Village, visit rstreet.org or icsvillage.com. I'm your host, Bryson Borg. Thank you to executive producer Tyler Lowe of Fader Creative, creative producer William Gray, and editor Dominic Sterrett of Sterrett Production.